Hello, I'm Alyssa Yan, your favorite anchor from WN5. Thank you for taking five minutes to watch our show. The Ministry of Education has announced the COVID-19 prevention and response measures for schools for the new semester, including the requirements for the suspension of classes, mandatory testing and disease prevention leave. Before the school started, local environmental protection department has cleaned and disinfected schools' campuses, and schools have been asked to prepare masks, rapid test kits, thermometers, and alcohol for disinfection, said Pan Wen Chong, the Minister of Education. We previously provided school with about 600 rapid test kits per week, and this time we have increased to 800,000 kits per week for the new semester, he said, adding that the CECC continues to encourage school faculty members and students to get vaccinated. Our reporter, Ian, is now present at Uyghur International School, a leading institution that has demonstrated high standard protocol in anti-epidemic measures on campus. Here's to you, Ian. Thank you, Lisa. I'm now here, present at Wager International School, Baton Campus, one of the most successful schools known for the high standard protocol in anti-epidemic measures in central Taiwan. As the new semester kicks off, people would be required to have their campus checked at school entrances. While the Minister of Education urges faculty members and students not to come to school if you have any illness. Starting from September 12, people who are diagnosed with or test positive for COVID-19 should isolate at home for seven days and only return to school if they no longer have symptoms. According to CECC suggestion, people who are experiencing symptoms can take a rapid test immediately, but those who have no symptoms to take a rapid test on day two, with a confirmed case test positive for COVID-19 being day zero. As for universities, the new standards will be implemented when a new semester starts. They include seven days of isolation at home for people who are diagnosed with or test positive for COVID-19, said the Minister of Education adding that people who have had direct contact with a confirmed case without wearing a mask for 15 minutes or more can go to school if they no longer if they are asymptomatic and test negative using a rapid test funded by the university. People who have had close contact with a confirmed case but have worn a mask are required to perform self-health monitoring. This is Ian reporting from Taichung in central Taiwan. Back to Alisa. Thank you, Ian. Local governments and the universities can adjust teaching methods according to the COVID-19 situation, but should discuss changes with the ministry's response task force and protect students' rights to education, said Pan. At any level of education, the remit of a conferred case would be considered household members, so they should practice seven days home isolation or self-disease prevention and are prohibited from attending in-person classes during the self-disease prevention period, he added. Faculty members at all school levels who contract COVID-19 can take official leave or disease prevention isolation leave, while students can take disease prevention isolation leave if they have the virus, he said, adding that faculty members can take self-disease prevention leave if they are practicing self-disease prevention, and students who feel ill or have concerns can take disease prevention leave. The ministry strongly encourages everyone to avoid going to school if they feel ill, Pan said, adding that different types of, of leave are being offered to reassure students and their parents that they don't need to go to school if they feel uncomfortable with the idea. I'm Melissa Yan, your favorite anchor from WM5. Stay tuned to our show for the latest news. Remember, mess up, wash your hands, and stay safe. Welcome back to school.